Shibidi-wop-bop-ba-doo-bang. All right, all right, all right. It's time. It is time for us to uh, bring in another Brownells Bullet Points brought to you by who? Brownells. All right, um, I'm going to do something that that I, I is against my nature. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. Normally, you want to keep the cat in the bag and throw it off of a bridge, but I'm going to let the cat out of the bag here. If you guys haven't figured it out by now, if you're not paying close enough attention to student of the gun and our endeavors, uh, I've been writing a lot of books. You're like, what? When this happened? Yeah, I've been writing a lot of books. So I wrote the instructor development manual first. Then I wrote the precision rifle range book second. Then I wrote the martial application of the handgun. Or is it called martial application of the pistol? Martial application of the pistol. pistol. And then I wrote the martial application of the shotgun. So people are like, oh, well, what's next? And I was like, hmm, I don't know. Hmm. What is next? What would be next? (gasps) And smart folks out there, smart folk out there in the world said, I bet it's going to be martial application of the rifle. (laughs) (laughs) So they must be like genius. They're genius. They're genius level listeners. What these these books and the, these these uh, these literary masterpieces have given me the opportunity to do is they've given me the opportunity to focus very intently on that topic and that subject, and that's what I've been doing here the last couple of weeks with the fighting rifle, the martial rifle, the the rifle that you would use as a power tool to save your life or the lives of your children or your family or what have you. And of course, or naturally, I was led to what do you need and what don't you need? I was talking to my friend Dave from SDS Imports. Dave's like me. He's been around for a while. He's a little bit long in the tooth. He's been paying attention to this world and this this uh, martial firearms world for a long, 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 long time. And he reminded me, he said, you remember when Jeff Cooper did the, the Cooper gun sight 1911? Because at the time when Jeff Cooper founded gun sight in Arizona, the premier fighting handgun on planet earth was the M 1911, a one 45 ACP pistol. That was, that was it. I can't remember what year Jeff founded uh, Gunsight, but I believe it was in the early to mid 70s. So what Cooper did is he 1976. There you guys. I was thinking it was 76. So what Cooper did was he had to examine that handgun. He's like, is this gun out of the box uh, as it's issued to the U.S. Army? And of course, it was the standard Army issue pistol at the time. Is it perfect? Is it everything it needs to be? And he was honest, and he said, no, it's not. There are some improvements that can be made. Now, at the time, there were, I think, I believe the U.S. Army manufactured and purchased in the the neighborhood of 5 million 1911 A1 pistols from 1940 to 1945. So... Believe it or not, there's a lot of them out there. And a cottage industry developed around the 1911. And custom gunsmiths and parts makers and manufacturers started creating aftermarket parts for 1911s. They're like, oh, here's what we can do. We can do an ambidextrous safety. We can do an oversized safety. We can do an oversized extended slide release. Now, slide release is slide lock. We can do a uh, an enhanced grip safety. We can do replaceable back straps. We're going to change the hammer. We're going to change the sights. We're going to change the trigger. Uh, we're going to do different barrels. We're going to do barrel shrouds. We're going to do compensators. They were going all. They were just that was just starting. 
back in the late 70s, going into the early 80s. It's just starting. It's just beginning. So Cooper said, what improvements can be made and what's unnecessary? And when he came up with the, when he blessed the official gun site 1911, he said it had everything you need and nothing you don't. This gun has everything you need, nothing you don't. Which means essentially the, the uh, what, what would you say, the MED for 1911s? Yeah, minimum effective the dose. The minimum effective dose for 1911s. So I started thinking about the same thing for the black rifle. I started thinking about the same thing for the modern AR. Because the modern AR is very much like the 1911 was in the early 80s. We've got people making just innumerable Connex boxes filled with aftermarket parts. Extended this and and ambi that's and and this you know all kinds of like insane lunacy things that you never knew that you didn't want. So one of the th- the uh, well one of the things I did is I started thinking about that and I went to Brownells, went to their website and I started poking around looking at various pieces, parts, and components and stuff. And I thought, well, could I put together, assemble, take the existing parts, and make a minimalist, a minimum effective dose, an MED black rifle? Everything you need, nothing you don't. So that is a project that I have undertaken, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, And you say, well, how far are you into that project? I am at the ordering the parts stage. <laughs> that's that's what I've done. I have ordered the parts. So uh, you're like, well, show me what you, I can't show you because I just ordered the parts. Uh, some of them are Brownells official. Yeah, and we're pretty excited about the project. Yeah, I'm, pr- I'm very excited about it because like I said, it's going to give me an opportunity to examine the topic uh, in detail. Um, and I'm even going to do something that for the longest time, I just didn't feel confident enough doing. I'm going to install the gas system in the gun. I'm going to take the parts and I'm going to assemble the gas system. So we'll find out if it's a complete and total, uh, poop show. If it turns up to, to be, (laughs) Oh, if it turns into a uh, a Rocky Mountain Sheep Rodeo, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. But uh, is is there a local gun butcher that that I can that I could fall back on <laughs> just in case? Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, we know we know a couple guys actually. Oh, okay. We have a couple of local a uh, couple of I don't want to have to pack stuff up and ship it away. I don't want to have to do that. I don't have to do that. But yeah, that is the that is the next focus. And if you need pieces, parts, components for a black rifle, whether it's sights, optics, barrels, gas tubes, uh, lower receivers, upper receivers, middle receivers, wide receivers, um, if you need a wide receiver uh, for a black rifle, <laughs> that's going to be the next thing. The next bill to come out of Congress is going to ban wide receivers. Uh, or, or require all wide receivers to be serialized? Yeah. All wide receivers must be serialized. Uh, now, you know, uh, just r- a few years ago, the, the, the AFT was pushing to force uh, both, a- b- both uh, uppers and lowers for ARs to be serialized and to be considered a firearm. You say, but yeah, but... Has it been a couple of years already? I thought that was like yep. last well, year. No, it was it was when they were when they went to the uh, the guys yes. who were manufacturing uh, drop in fifty BMG uppers, mm. and they're like, "That's a that's a firearm." Like, no, it's not. It's a components. No. Well, you, like, well, we followed your rules, and and your rules said that it's not. We changed our minds because we're criminals, and you're a peasant. Yes. But if you'd like to build your own, if you'd like to roll your own, get your butt over to brownells.com. There you go. There you go. And we will keep you abreast. Uh, You want to be kept abreast, right? 
I know I want to be kept abreast. So we'll keep you abreast as both the Marshall Application of the Rifle book nears uh, nears readiness and how the perfect AR and as the perfect AR, the MED, the minimum effective dose black rifle. I think I might call it the MED. Call it the AR Med. The AR, AR Med. Med AR. The Armed. That sounds like it, it came from oh, from Persia. It's armed. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> his brain just exploded. It just broke my brain. That's, just, that's funny. My brain just broke. <laughs> and and if you're for those of you in Discord watching live, people are on Discord. They're freaking out right now. They're like, I was there the moment that Paul's brain broke. I was there when it happened. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. Do -do -do -bop -bop -do -do -do. Ladies and gentlemen, so check out our good buddies at Brownells. They're friends. And uh, if you <laughs> if you stop by the Grinnell, Iowa, the massive showroom and uh, and uh, shop, it's right off of I-80 in Grinnell. And if you don't, if the ladies are busy, don't tell them that you get a free cup of coffee. If they're just standing Student there, the, do, if they're just say. standing there looking at like and checking out social media on Facebook or whatever, but they don't do that. See, I, I know that Brownells people don't do that. They're very busy. So, tell them student of the gun sent you. Of course, the lady at the front desk will mean nothing to her, but still. Who are these people? What? 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 <laughs>